Well, I'm going to share with you the 14-day execution strategy. So ultimately, if every single day you do something to the funnel, you're going to have your marketing funnel up in no time. So I'm going to take you through day by day right now on exactly what you should be doing each day strategically to actually get your funnel up. So uh, you see this is the 14-day execution strategy right here, and we're covering day one and day two right now. So here's what I like to do over the first couple of days. Um, I call this the funnel brainstorm, and this is what this is really about right here in the first couple of days. It's about brainstorming on your funnel. And what I like to think about is the idea, like what's the big idea that I have right now for this funnel? And then I like to break it up into problems, like what are the four problems that I'm going to be solving with this big idea? So let me give you an example. Um, an idea I have for a funnel, it's a funnel that you're going through right now, which is why you have this product, is the idea of wanting to help people create and actually launch their products online so they can get customers every single day. And the interesting thing is for me, um, I brainstormed this idea first and I just thought about what my market really wants. I thought about where I'm moving in my business and what's working for me. And I thought about like, what's the thing that people really need as coaches, speakers, consultants, service-based business owners. And for me, what I did was I actually surveyed my list after I came up with the idea. So at first I was like, I'm going to create this product and I started creating it and I was like, I should probably survey my list. But the cool thing is, um, since you might not have a list to survey, the whole purpose of building this funnel is to grow your list and get buyers, right? And sell your products. You might not actually have a, a list. So for me, I double did it. I did the double confirm. One was just my idea and my thinking. And you can really get there with your big idea out of the gates of like, what is it that uh, my customers actually need, what should I create for them now? And that's just how I kind of start thinking about it the first day and I start throwing out ideas. And I could throw out a ton of ideas, right? Um, the one I actually landed on, I threw out like three or four ideas. Um, and this took me like 10 minutes to brainstorm to come up with the idea, okay? So I'm not talking about a lot of work in the brainstorming piece right out of the gate. Um, for me, it was like, I want to help them create their funnels and launch their funnels so they can create and launch their product so that they can get customers every single day. Uh, that was the big idea. And I go, well, that's a big idea, right? So when I'm creating a funnel, um, I have to break it down into smaller parts. Um, call these uh, smaller problems that I'm solving, okay? So for me, I came up with the big idea just out of thin air by observing my market and my business. And then I sent an email to my list and I did a survey. And the survey was like, if I were to create these 10 products, like I have 10 ideas um, that I'm thinking about in terms of creating products, and I asked my list, I go, which one do you want the most? And they got, to, they got to rank them, which ones they wanted the most. And funny enough, the one that hit the top of the list out of 10 was this one that I already picked as my big idea. So a lot of times, like you'll survey your list and they're gonna give you great feedback, but if you don't have one, just do what I do. Brainstorm the idea, put it down on paper, come up with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 ideas and then pick one big idea um, that you then break into parts. So let me give you an example of how I broke it into parts. I go, my big idea is I'm helping people create um, and launch their product so they can get customers daily. Well, creating a product is like one problem that people have. So I go to the problem box, which is right here, and I go, problem number one is they don't even know how to create a product. So I write it in, I go, create, product right so right there I go that big idea it's a big idea I right? create a product launch a product get clients every single day it's it's a lot like it's too much for to solve in one in one swoop right so I break it down in chunks and I go okay the number one problem is create a product because you know if they're gonna launch the product and they don't have a product they're in trouble right so I go number one create the product right so for me, that was the first problem I was solving, help them create a product. Then I go, well, the second thing they need to do is they need to launch. They need to launch the product, right? Launch the prod, right? So now you got here, like create the product, launch the product. Those are two separate problems completely, right? So I go problem one, problem two. And then I go, well, problem three is if I'm gonna help them create the product, then I'm gonna help them launch the product. Um, you know, creating a product is like, here's what it's gonna be, um, here's the modules I'm gonna create, 
And then it's like, okay, launching it is actually the funnel. Like, I have to build a marketing funnel. So launching is a whole separate thing. Like, I can have a product, but if I have no marketing funnel to launch it with, and I haven't created the actual funnel sequence, I can't launch anything, right? And then I go, okay, well, it's one thing to have the funnel design up and to like, to know what you're selling, know what products you're selling, but then you have to know how to sell. So I go, there's another problem. There's sales videos. They need to create sales videos that actually sell their product. So I'm like, if, if they create a product and then they have a funnel to launch it and they have no sales videos, the funnel's not gonna work. So this whole big idea brought a lot of problems that the customer's facing. And I go, well, then if they have sales videos, let's say they create the product, they have the funnel to launch it, they have the sales videos to sell it, and then it's like, well, they don't know how to market. They have no campaigns to do marketing. So I go, the fourth problem is they need marketing campaigns. So I go, marketing, which is like a whole nother topic. Put marketing down here, that's marketing, that says marketing. Like that bad handwriting there, it says marketing, okay? So you gotta have marketing. So all of a sudden here, these are like four different products. These four problems are like four products that I just created by one from one big idea. And then I go, okay, well, um, in a funnel, right? So here's my problems. And notice how I like escalate and elevate it because in day one, you should be doing your brainstorm and doing the exact same thing and like escalating it and elevating it going, problem one is like my big idea. I help people create um, their products. I want to help them create their products, launch their products, sell their products so they can get customers great, launch, sell their products to get customers every day. And then eventually it's like, okay, to get customers every day, they really have to market it too. That one big idea created four products. And I start off with the most basic one that they need first, and I go, the first problem I need to solve is to create the product. So what I did with this, this is what I did, okay? So this can be your, in your brainstorming session, I'm helping you create your funnel now too. It's like, in your brainstorming session, that product they need to create, I made this one my free gift. I said, I'm just gonna give this away for free. Oh, free gift. That Crawford's problem I'm solving is gonna be the first piece of my funnel where I'm gonna make this my free gift. I'm just gonna give it to them. Now, it's like a downloadable um, blueprint that shows them, like, here's an outline of how to create a product, and it shares some really good stuff and walks them through how to do it. Now, clearly, it's not like an extensive, elaborate course on it, but it's a free gift that allows them to start outlining um, the product themselves. Now you're in my program here and I'm showing you like how to do all of this and it comes with videos and it's like an amazing product right now that you've enrolled in. So they don't actually get that. Um, they just get a little piece of like, here's an outline. Um, here's a tool that will help you create your product and it's free and it gets them started thinking about it and doing a little bit about it. Of course, if they really want to be great at it, they gotta then come to my next piece, which is they gotta know how to then launch the product. Um, and really think through the launch of it and the execution of the actual product itself too. So um, number two is launching the product. And so this becomes my first paid offer over here. So while this is the free gift, the second problem I'm solving becomes my paid offer. So um, this here becomes my first paid offer. And if you go back to the last module where I taught you about the free, the $37 or $47 offer, and then the $97 offer, each problem I'm solving becomes a product. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually creating a funnel um, by actually brainstorming and going problem number one, problem number two, problem number three, I'm creating a funnel in doing that. And so in day one of your funnel brainstorm, you should be going through the same process of going, huh, what problems am I solving and organizing them from the easiest to solve to the hardest to solve? So the easiest one first is they gotta create the product and it's the most basic and essential that they need. The second is they need to create a funnel to launch the product. That's a paid offer that you invested into me in this program. And then the third is another paid offer um, that they have to learn how to create sales videos to actually sell their product, which is the one that I sell here and this one can sell for, you know, for $197. Sometimes I do a special on it where it sells for less, right? You might see a special on this and get it for less. 
Um, there's probably a link below the video if you want this of how to create sales videos. But notice how this is my funnel. It's they opt in for a free gift, they upsell to another paid offer, a first, a first paid offer that solves another problem. They upsell to a next paid offer over here that solves another problem. And all of a sudden, just by brainstorming the problems, I created a funnel. Make sense? Pretty awesome, right? And then I could have a fourth that goes, and I don't, ha I don't have that in this actual funnel. Um, actually, I do have it in the follow-up sequence. I have my marketing uh, to millions program, which is a membership program that for $97 a month, I share all my best marketing campaigns. Every month I show up live and then I'm on the phone and I'm also um, answering questions and I'm sharing my best marketing strategies to help people. So look at what I did in day one and day two. I brainstormed the, the big idea, help people do this, right? I'm helping them create their products, launch their products, sell their products, right? and then eventually market their products. All from that big idea, I came up one, two, three, four problems that you would need help on. And then I just go free gift for problem number one, first offer for problem number two, second offer for problem number three, and I created my funnel right out of the gates. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to brainstorm the big idea, chunk it down into problem one, problem two, problem three, and you're gonna have your funnel. Pretty awesome, right? Day one and day two complete, get into action, start doing your brainstorm right now, and we'll be back in the next video for day three and day four. See you in a moment.